Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to build an AI chatbot using Azure Open AI. This chatbot can answer questions and have conversation and assist with various tasks. Let's get started. We are going to create a chatbot that connects to the GPT model through Azure Open AI. You can ask anything and it will respond intelligently with natural conversation. Some of the prerequisites are you need to have an Azure subscription and you need to have Python installed in your machine. First, we are going to log into the Azure portal and we are going to create an Azure OpenAI resource. Next, we are going to the OpenAI studio and deploy a GPT model. For this demo, I am going to use GPT-5 mini. Then I am going to grab the API credentials. The API credentials include the key and the endpoint for your resource. Next, we are going to the Visual Studio Code and we are going to install some of the Python libraries like OpenAI. Next, we are going to configure your endpoint and the API keys. Then we are going to write a Python code that takes the input from the user and sends to the API. And we will submit various requests and the response. That is, we will ask questions to the chatbot and the chatbot will respond. We are going to create a fully functional AI chatbot using Python, Azure, and OpenAI. Without further ado, let's get started. As a first step, we need to create an OpenAI resource. I have already logged in into the Azure portal. In the search bar, I am going to type Azure OpenAI. Now, I will click Create and create a new resource. Let me select the resource group and give a name to my resource. Let me call it as chatbot. This name has to be unique, so I'm going to mention my name. Next, I'm going to select the pricing tier and click Next. We will select the default for the network and the tags and go to Review. Now let me click create to create the resource. It will take about a minute to deploy. The deployment is completed. Next, we need to deploy the AI model. In order to do that, I am going to navigate to Azure OpenAI resource. Let me click go to resource. And let me go to OpenAI Foundry portal. Next, I'm going to the deployment section in the left. Click new deployment. Deploy base model. Here we see that the models are getting displayed. I'm going to select GPT-5 mini for this demo. You can select other models too. I'm selecting GPT-5 mini for make it cost effective. Let me click confirm. The default settings looks good. The model is getting created in East US. Now let me click deploy. Here is our endpoint URL and here is our API token. We see that the provisioning status is successful. Our model is now live and ready to use. The next step is to get the API credentials so that Python code can connect to Azure. In order to do that, I'm going to copy the endpoint URL and put it in a notepad temporarily. I'm copying the endpoint URL. I am copying the key. It is important that never share this key publicly or commit in GitHub. These are like passwords for your API service. After this demo, I'll be deleting my resources so that my API key will be no longer valid. Now let's write some Python code. In order to do that, I'm going to my VS code. This is my project directory. In this directory, I have two files, .env and 
demo.py. In the .env file, I am going to paste my endpoint URL and API keys. Let me copy my endpoint URL. And I am also going to copy my API key. Next, we will make sure that the Python is installed. I am going to type Python hyphen version. I have the Python installed. Now I am going to install the OpenAI library. Now let's write our chatbot code. I am going to demo.py. For that, I am going to type from OpenAI import Azure OpenAI. This import gives all access to Azure OpenAI functionality. Next, we need to set up Azure configuration. I will create a client object. This is for the Azure configuration. I am going to declare a variable client equals to Azure OpenAI. First, I will declare the endpoint URL Azure underscore endpoint equals to I will paste my endpoint URL here. Here is my endpoint URL. Next, I am going to declare my API key. API key equals to, I am going to paste my API key. Next, we will provide the API version. API version equals to, here is the API version. Let me copy this. We have completed the configuration. Now for the chatbot loop, let's first print a welcome message. I am going to print welcome to chatbot. Next, I will create a while loop to keep the conversation going. While true, I'll get the message from the user message equals to input of you. We will quit once the message is quit. If message equals to quit, we will break the loop. Now we will write our response. Response equals to client dot chat dot completions dot create. Our Azure configuration variable is client, which we declared here. We will provide the model name model equals to I have selected GPT 5 hyphen mini. This is the model I selected in Azure GPT 5 mini. Next, in the messages, I need only the roles and the content. Messages equals to a list of dictionary. In that, I am going to select role and the value is user and the content is the message. We are getting the input from the user and we are passing the message that we get from the user. Now we will mention the max completion tokens. Max completion tokens equals to, I am going to mention it as 500. The max completion token limits the response length to 500 tokens. That's pretty much it. Now let's save it. Now let me run this Python code. Let me provide some input. Hello. 
Before that, let me print the response of the chatbot. Print chatbot response dot choices of zero dot message dot content. We are printing the AI reply from the API response. The API object might contain multiple completions, but the response choice of zero will select the first one. Inside that message dot content will hold the actual test generated by the model. I have mentioned F to print the raw message. I hope it makes sense. Now let's save and run. Let me type hello. Let me correct the typo here. It is choices. Now let me run our program. We got the welcome message. Now let me type hello. We got the response that hello, how can I help you today? Let me ask some questions. What is the capital of India? We got the message that the capital of India is New Delhi. Our AI model is working. Let me ask something interesting, tell some joke. We got some bunch of jokes. We have built a fully functional AI chatbot with Azure OpenAI. The best part is we wrote only few Python code for all this power. You can customize this by adding conversation history or by integrating with your web application. Finally, let me quit my chat application. I'm going to type quit. If you do like this video, please hit like button and subscribe for more AI and cloud tutorials. Drop a comment below if you have more questions or wanted to see more Azure content. Until then, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.